Hey folks, Chris with Headcount here. Today we're going to go back and look at fire sprinkler heads again. Our topic for today is one that many people overlook but is becoming a hot button in the compliance world. Topic for today, quick and standard response sprinkler heads. We're going to start out today looking at the differences between the quick and the standard response. Now looking at them, it's easy to see why this is the ultimate head scratcher. Clearly when you're looking at them up close, you can see the difference between the 5mm and the 3mm bulb. Most sprinkler types, upright, pendant, sidewall, come in both response bulbs. The idea is that the smaller bulb in a quick response head will activate, you guessed it, quicker. Quick response sprinkler heads were introduced in the early 1980s and for over 20 years NFPA 13 has required them for light hazard occupancies. A couple of big things to keep in mind with quick and standard response sprinkler heads. First, they can't be in the same compartment. We'll talk about compartments in a later episode, but for now, keep in mind that as you're walking through a building, if you see a thin and a thick bulb together, you've got problems. Second thing, and this is a big one, Standard response sprinkler heads have a 50 year lifespan. Quick response, a 20 year lifespan. So for those of you good at math, if your building was built 1980 or earlier, it's a good chance you need to test or replace some fire sprinkler heads. Too often we treat sprinkler heads like light switches. They're there and they work, then they're good. Sprinkler heads have clearly defined expiration dates. This is one of the main reasons why we created Headcount, to track and monitor these dates. One of the most powerful features of Headcount is a dynamic and searchable inventory tracked in real time, giving you a heads up for expiring units for budgeting purposes. Large data, critical information. Let us show you what Headcount has to offer. Until next time.